when you think about where you are today, I mean, this is a very new category. Of course, this is enlightened. Uh, you were enlightened to like see what was going on at Google. Did you always know you were heading down this path? Like, hey, I'm going to be an entrepreneur. I'm going to, you know, run a build a company, work in ser- software. Did you always kind of have that like gut instinct that that's where the path you were going to go, or did you think something else when you were younger? I would say yes, hundred percent from the beginning, right? Yeah. The only issue that I had, I ended up in, in really good organizations, really having fun, working with smart people. You know, my my last job before a startup was AWS, you know, and I joined when the company or the part of the company was so small that, you know, nobody really knew about it. And I <laughs> I, I, I will never forget we were at some kind of industry uh, event where people coming by asking if we're Amazon here to sell books. Uh, that was literally <laughs> it, right? And we're standing there. With <laughs> That's how early it was, yeah. This is going to go well. And all my friends from the enterprise side, you know, making fun of me, what are you doing there again? <laughs> But, you know, that's that's where it started. And, and my point being, you know, I always felt like working smaller teams, doing something interesting was was that. But I was too lazy to just jump the ship, do something on my own, and, and it finally happened, right? So there's no reason to go back, and I hope I don't have to go back. I'm enjoying <laughs> building companies, hiring people, you know, growing it. It's That's, that's the part of the fun, right? Yeah. What would you say to that young engineer who's sitting there listening to the show, listening to your story, and they're on the verge, they think that they want to do something, but they haven't quite taken the step yet? <laughs> uh, I would say just wait a couple months. I wouldn't tell anyone right now in this environment to quit your <laughs> job and go crazy. <laughs> hey, but you might be resilient. You might be building a very resilient company, right? Yeah. Uh, but yeah, think about your, your life priorities, you know, what you like to do. That's, that's the important part. And, you know, being, being in a startup, it's not what it used to be 20 years ago. And when I was thinking about it, when I was looking at it, I had friends, you know, doing startups where you're taking a significant pay cut, you know, making a lot of sacrifices and, and you feel like you're doing something and it might be very, very rewarding, right? We're, we're not there anymore. Um, you know, startups are raising significant amounts of money. The salaries are really on par with with anybody out there, right? You, oh, yeah. you have to pay the talent. There's really no escape Sometimes from it anymore. Sometimes it's more. Some, some, right, of these big, exactly. some of these big companies are really, they're, I mean, they're really overpaying engineers because they need them. Yeah. They need them to leave. They need that guy from Netflix to leave and come to me. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And, you know, uh, bottom line is the only risk you take is on the equity that you leave on the table, invested stocks if you leave a company and, you know, you're getting equity in a, in a mature company that might not go anywhere. That's your only risk. But at the end of the day, that's always, you know, amazing experience. I can guarantee you if you leave AWS or Google or Facebook for a startup and you want to go back in two, three years, they'll take you back. Uh, so the risk is very, very minimal, right? And don't be scared. Find yourself a good co-founder. That's always helpful. Uh, although I admire people that have done it on their own, it's always better of a co-founder. <laughs> no doubt about it. you know one of the things that everyone always talks about well no the number one reason to have a co-founder is in those dark moments when you start thinking to yourself maybe this doesn't work you need someone like to seize, head, the, right? seize another yeah. path right <laughs> give it give me an idea of you and your co-founder how how would you describe your personalities are you the more you see are you more optimistic? Opposite. there's usually like yeah, there's usually like yeah. an optimist pessimist guy like <laughs> You know what, that part, not necessarily. We're complete opposites when it comes to, you know, my co-founder Brian is very technical, I'm, I'm more business oriented, but you know, there are many differences. Uh, but yeah. the, the optimist pessimist kind of switches depending on a day, week or month or, <laughs> or an event, right? So it goes both ways. Hey, thanks for watching. This segment is brought to us by Salesforce Platform. Visit salesforce.com slash newsletter to discover timely insights and useful tips tailored to your role. Subscribe to this channel and get more great IT and tech interviews with top industry leaders.